Hey YouTube, John here. I uh, figure we're going to try to do some competition surfing. Give you a taste of what that's like. So we log in here in community and we pick the event that's open right now. I'm going to the big wave in the Nazaré, Portugal. I'm going to drop in competition time. These are scoring waves. Get the best two scores out of your session to go up. So here I am in the scoring section trying to keep it nice and tight and try to just get some nice points going. Some nice cutbacks, keep it in the tube. I'm finding to keep the speed up to get the scores. Here it's at the amateur level. Just to let everybody know. Coming in, finding these nice sections. I'm really concentrating on just getting a good, complete scoring wave in on my first one. I take the pressure off the other ones. And don't worry, there's pressure when you start doing competition waves. You'll feel it. Hands get a little slow. Here we go, finishing this one out. Taking a kind of conservative mood here. What we what we ring it up? Oh, it's some decent scores. We're all getting a 6.77 for the first scoring wave. That takes a lot of pressure off. That's a sort of a strategy. Just get one under the belt. Dropping in, good. Looking for that perfect drop in, really. But getting deep in two. And I'm feeling the wave out. Could have done some more scoring there. I talked to my buddy Shelby about it. What we like to do is camp out on the wave prior to entering the competition so we can figure out how to score it, where it's at, what mines, and then and then to enter the competition from there. So we have some idea of what we're trying to get into. So this is pretty good. I'm in the pocket, right in that little tube area with power. It's good to build up some speed. They seem to reward keeping speed built up. And this wave, it's it's pretty good, but it's it's not your traditional tube wave, so you got to find where to score it. So I'm going to ride this one out and make sure I have two good scores under my belt. So what, what do we got here with the judges? One gave me seven. So we got a 7.1. That's pretty nice. I'm feeling pretty good about that score, and which is good because I have about a minute left. Getting in deep. So this really frees me up to maybe get a little more radical, see, see what more I can do. Rocking a 13.87. I can live with that. Here we go. Going a little bird, a little big. Couldn't bring it back into the wave. So I drop in. 45 seconds left. I'm determined to try to get one more. Well, I'll call it more of a high risk strategy wave in here. So I'm looping around. It just takes me out, man. Whether it's digital or real, Mother Nature doesn't care. When she rolls in, she rolls in strong. She rolled me. Waiting for one wave, it'll be questionable whether or not I can get this in under the scoring horn. And obviously I was feeling the pressure because I didn't even get up on the monster. Hopping in, it's it's feeling late, I'm feeling the pressure. You will feel the pressure on this competition wave, make no doubt. No doubt about it. You're connecting into the competition with all the other good surfers out there. Let's see, last one, I know it's over. So let's see, so we got 1387 and do a little exit bird, get out of here. See where we stack up. I'm loading the results. 13.87 puts me at 17%. top 17 percent. Not terrible. Just in time to get ready for the next competition. Thanks for tuning in. I'm John, and uh, keep having fun getting stoked. Brought to you by Surfline and World Surfing.